Hello, my lovely Red Mare crew. This is a video about leading. Right, on we go, Doodle. Now, it's going to be quite difficult because I have no camera person. You know, all come for me. You know, all come for me. Oh, no, she's decided to stop. Come on, we're going to walk on. Thank you, good girl. Are you going to walk on? Okay, this is a slightly tricky bit because what she likes to do is she likes to walk behind me sometimes, quite a lot of the time. So I'm going to have to walk backwards, walk backwards and talk forwards with any luck. <laughs> oh, now she's coming up. Come on then. If I can get her to go slightly ahead of me, we'll come. Good girl. There we go. Whoops. We'll come. Okay. We're going to walk up. <laughs> this is going very well. Can you walk on for me? Come on then, walk on. Walk on. Good. There. Right, there we go. That's easier for me to video. Um, it's very difficult to ask her <laughs> the questions that I need to ask her and video at the same time. What oh, kind? So I'm gonna have to see if I can just do it off my energy and my thought. Oh, I breathe out lots of lovely forward energy. And I'm opening my hand like an invitation. So I'm creating a space. <sighs> we'll come. <laughs> a space that she can walk into. That's always the thing is everything with us is an invitation. It's all Fred Astaire holding out his hand to Ginger Rogers. <sighs> there we go. Leading from the front, I call this, where she's leading me from the front. Um, as you can see, she's actually not that keen on it today. So we'll do it this way. Um, it's a very useful tool. It's something I was taught by Anna Blake, who's a great horsewoman and yes. And um, it gives them confidence. You say that, you don't need me in front. You go, you go. Yeah, you be the lead there. There we go. Good. Uh, is she going? Yes, she's going. So the point about this is that it's all softness and space. She's not on top of me. I'm not having to drag her. She's not pushing me. I'm not having to um, have my, that awful stranglehold under the chin. I really don't like that. I'm not having to lean into her shoulder. Admittedly, she is going very slowly, but she can walk fast, can't you doodle? What I want everything to be is open. Sorry about the dirty hand, I've been scratching her. Um, you can hear now that she's speeding up a little. That's because I'm speeding up. I'm not pulling her on the rope. Yeah. Oop. God, rope work with one hand is really hard. Okay, here we go. Here we go, yes. So look, we've got lots of grass. She always quite wants to eat the grass, but she's staying with me. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. We go this way. I can't really show you how clever that was. There's a lovely hill. Yes, this is a disaster as videos go. But I don't really care. I'll just talk to you about it. I can't really show it because she wants to go behind me. Uh, oh, well, actually, hold on. What would happen? If we flipped it. No, we can't work that out. <laughs> Here she is. Yeah. Um, why do I think this is so important? Well, part of the reason that I teach my horses all the things I teach them is because that they work with children. So they teach my great nieces to ride. Uh, I've got my little posse of young girls who come to the field. I'm responsible for those children. I cannot have my horses breaking their toes and squashing their ribs and 
you know, generally making them cry. So we do a lot of stuff which helps with safety. And this walking helps with safety. No child is going to get pulled around. No child, oh, that's our space, miss. No child is going to get. <laughs> this is a terrible video. Okay, whoa. Um, sorry, the walking is absolutely hopeless. I can't show it to you. Ah, uh, no child is going to get squished or squashed or made to cry. Um, everything happens on this lovely long rope. Everything happens with connection. So when I'm walking with her, if I think speed up, she'll speed up. I don't have to pull her. She, if I slow down, I can go to an old lady walk. That's what Buck Bradman calls it. Cause he says, when he's an old man, he doesn't want his horse to be running on ahead of him. So he practices his old man walk for when he is really old. And it's lovely, there's a bit in the film, Buck, where he does this. And this lovely young horse just matches his pace and matches his steps. So those of you who love racing will have seen this with Batash and Bob where Batash, who's a, probably the fastest horse in the world at the time, was going very, very, very slowly around the paddock with his beloved Bob, who had a bit of a sore hip. And um, that was when I knew that they had a really serious relationship going on. So I want that kind of connection. But at the beginning, when you don't have that kind of connection. Batash did that with Bob. Not, I don't think Bob had taught him to do that. I think it was just because Batash loved Bob and knew that Bob was his person. But with my ones, because I'm there working with children and because also I don't want to get dragged around and knocked about. Oh, look, there's some people over there. Shall we go and see them? She loves meeting people. And I think there might be a child. She loves meeting a child. Shall we go and say hello? Yes. Uh, yeah, because of the children, because I don't want to get knocked around, because I just love working with soft horses, I will teach it. So how do you teach it? Well, you just take them out, you let out the rope, and if they go ahead of you, you get them to turn in a tiny little circle. That's probably the most basic way. Teeny tiny little circle, so you get them to yield the hindquarters. And that's classic... Uh, wrong thing, hard, right thing, easy. So you make the wrong thing, which is going ahead of you and pulling on you. Oh, they've gone, we've, we've missed them. Never mind, we'll go around this way, shall we? Yes, come on then. Um, yeah, you make the thing that you don't want, the wrong thing, just a little bit harder for them. So you ask them to do a little bit of work. Whereas if they stay with you and they don't push, you just leave them alone. Lovely open hand. Hello. <laughs> She's gone a bit close to me now. We've lost a bit of personal space. So I'm doing wrong thing hard, right thing easy. I'm just making her go to left and right. If she comes in a bit close to me. And look now, we've got our personal space again. Beautiful. Um, this is one of our favorite walks. We do this quite a lot. I wasn't going to bring you out this far because I really wanted this to be a demonstration video. But since I can't make the camera work, uh, we'll have a lovely Scotland in summer video instead. And I hope that's also very cheering for those of you who aren't lucky enough to be in such incredible ooh, countryside. Look at that. I thought that was a skull of something but actually it's just an amazing bit of wood like a sculpture there we are i love finding things like that come on doodle oh and do you see when i stopped and looked down at that thing she just stopped uh, <laughs> and i didn't even think about that but of course to many people that's remarkable because most horses don't and it's just because they haven't been taught. Should we go up here? Should we go up the lovely avenue? Yes. Oh, and look, there are people up there you can say hello to. Yes. 
she's got the dozy donkey ears. Those are the ears I'm always looking for. The, you know, very soft, kind of quarter to three, 20 to four ears. There we go. And actually, what I might do, want to walk on yourself? Do you? Want to walk on yourself, Connie? Yeah? Good. Yeah, so sometimes we don't need a rope at all. There you go, walk on. Good girl. Um, good girl, walk on. That's it. There we go, we're on our adventures now. Yeah, I love taking her for these walks. And I'm not going to take a horse who's who's pulling or who I've got to hang on to or who's pushing into me or has no concept of self-control or personal space. So this is pretty much the first thing I teach, this and personal space. Oh yes, how do you teach it to them? We were talking about wrong thing, hard, right thing, easy. Yeah, if she, say she was dragging me now, all I'd do is I'd just say, oh, can we yield those hindquarters, please? Yield those hindquarters. Yield those hindquarters. Good, cross, cross right over. Good girl. And then if she walks on nicely, I leave her alone. So you're just, you're not saying no. You're saying you absolutely can pull me all over the place if that's what you want. But every time you do that, I'm gonna ask you to do a little circle. I'm gonna ask you to engage those hindquarters and um, yield them for me. And that's hard work. That little circle you saw just then, that's hard work for a horse. Whereas if she does this, look, bluebirds and butterflies, absolutely left alone. And look, we have small friends approaching. Hello. This is always adorable. She just loves kids. Sometimes they don't always want to say hello to her because she looks, she's quite big. She's a big old unit. Hi, girls. <laughs> Do you want to say hello? Yeah. yeah. What's your name? My name is Lydia. Lydia? What? Oh, this is Feeny. Yeah, there you go. Hello. Have you I, met horses before? Do you yeah, I go horse riding. Oh, do you? Okay, so you're an expert. Yeah. What about you? I don't go horse riding. Do you think you might one day? Are you two sisters? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, look, she loves you. you My feel... mum has a dog. Oh, okay. So they're a little bit different dogs, aren't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look, what can she hear? She, I think it's those sheep. Is that your mum up there? Uh, over there? Oh, good. Well done. There you are. That's it. You're fine. She's very gentle. That's it. Marta, <laughs> the water's a lot. Oh, Marta. That's my mum's water bottle. She has nowhere to put her water bottle. Well, it's jolly lucky she's got such a nice daughter as you who'll carry the water bottle for her. Mm -hmm. There we are. Oh, look, I think she's spotted, Mum. Is she spotted, Mum? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's it that's it nice and gently and you know what she really likes is if you do nice deep breaths while you do it so what we always say is we breathe in the good and we breathe out the bad did you buy your horse i jolly well did yes she cost actual money She's so soft, isn't she? That's it. Very nice. You're so fat. <laughs> there we go. Hello, is this mum? Yeah. Hello, mum. Oh, the lovely horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, she loves making new friends. Oh, oh boy. She's, She's called Phoenix. Oh. What a good dog! Hello, doggo! Very brave. Oh, look at the look at the stay, stay. Oh. That's it. Are you just taking her for a walk? Yeah, we love doing that. <laughs> it's but some of the people think it's a bit weird because you know she's not a dog. Yeah, but then why not? Let's why see. not? And and she loves it. You can see she's very relaxed. She is Marta. Marta. 
Marta, no. Marta has no fear, does she? No, she doesn't. But Lydia <laughs> does horse riding. So she maybe knows more about horses. Is she a girl or a boy? She's a girl. Up. Oh, oh, oh we're off. Well done. <laughs> Standing still Olympics. Okay. You're going to say goodbye to your lovely new friends. Bye. Say goodbye. Bye. Oh, oh. oh. Tomorrow. Yeah, well, we're always <laughs> round and about, so we'll see you again, I'm sure. Marta? No. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Actually, we're going to go this way. We'll see you again. Bye-bye. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> Um, okay, that was just so adorable and I've completely forgotten what I was telling you, but what I do say is teaching them to lead on a lovely gentle rope is not only useful and practical, but it is one of the great, great joys because it means you can go out for walks like this on a beautiful day like this. You can meet lovely people like that. And everything is easy. Everything is relaxed. Everything is happy. <laughs>